What's up guys, my name is Pigs and you're watching Zenju Moam. How y'all doing? Hope you're doing good. I'm just in my bathroom because I'm gonna show you guys a quick tutorial on how I do my everyday go-to makeup look. Um, some people do ask me, how do you do your makeup and stuff or what products do you use? So I just thought I'll do one that's kind of quick because my lifestyle is a bit fast moving sometimes and sometimes you just need that go-to look that just works all the time. You don't have to think about it. You kind of know by default, this lipstick, that eyeshadow, that, 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 out the door <laughs> and stuff. So that's the look I'm gonna, gonna do for you guys today. Um, I've already got my base on, so most people kind of know how to do their foundation and stuff. So if you do wanna see me do a look with the whole of uh, my base and everything like that from the get-go, then do drop me a comment down below and I'll do the whole base and stuff. So um, yes, but we'll get ready to get started. So this is kind of like my everyday, as I say, look that um, is my default one that I just think, this one works for me, let me get out the door. <laughs> All right, so basically I'm gonna start off with doing my, um, just above my eyebrows here so uh, I have done my eyebrows already and I'll just give them a little brush I'm just check in there and I'm gonna use this um, Daniel Sandler uh, Daniel Sandler um, eyeliner brush no sorry eyeliner pencil um, I've given it a little bit of a sharpen so what I like to do with my pencils is if I've just sharpened them I like to just um, dab them a little bit on the back of my hand it kind of warms up the pencil a little bit sometimes they like to break and um, this pencil is quite soft that's why I like it very much and um, then it's easier to kind of like go on I like to smudge my makeup as I go I've got my uh, mirror here so excuse me I'm just gonna look down a sec so what I like to do is take it here from my eyebrow and then I just like to kind of draw a line because what I like to do is just to define the shape of my eyebrow just so it looks a little bit more um, kind of stand out -y. and I'm just going to do the same on the other side. I'll just dab that in. Okay, and then that's kind of just the first part. You can already see that it makes a huge difference as well to your eyes. So that's what the eyebrows look like. Okay, then next I'm gonna, you can actually use the pencil as well. I think I'll just do that as well. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of the pencil there just to go over. want is just kind of like a, a nice um, kind of template of your natural look but just kind of highlighting areas that's kind of what I do with this kind of look that I'm using today okay so that's done so that makes a nice little foundation for you to add your eyeshadow onto so I'm just gonna go to my palette next just put the lid back on my pencil nothing worse than when you sit on a pencil or you break it and then you can't find your sharpener then you're taking forever again which defeats the whole object of finding something that's quick and go <laughs> to go to all right, so I'm going to use, I don't actually know what the names of these brushes are, but this is just um, a really nice thick um, eyebrow brush. And I'm using my Sleek palette. What are these? I just don't get it. <laughs> these are like the worst applicators ever. If you've ever tried to put your eyeshadow on, this is like the worst applicators and by default they come with all your um, eyeshadow things, but they're just totally rubbish. I always throw them away. But um, yes, yeah, so I'm using my Sleek palette and this one is um, Ultra Matte version 2731. I will put the information in the description. But I love the colours in this one, so I'm just going to hide it. That's what the colours can look like for this palette. There's a lot of kind of like natural tones in there and they're kind of matte as well, so that makes them not so shimmery and glamoury, which is nice for an everyday look. So I'm going to use, ooh, sorry, this one right here. It's kind of like my natural kind of skin color, almost. So that's why I like it. And then I'm just going to dab. I'm going to use the white on this side here. And I'm going to put that into my eye into the corners here and this just kind of opens up and brightens up the eye gives it a pop as they like to say I mean I love it already you know when you just start to see your makeup build and you get excited you're like oh thank you makeup 
I was having a great day until I put you on. <laughs> and then it makes everything better. So just taking any liquid gel eyeliner, whatever it is that you like to use, I'm just using standard liquid liner. Um, I like the one that's got like the brush tip. I find it easier. I don't like the ones that got kind of got those brushes that kind of fan out. Uh, it just always ends up being a disaster, you know. Um, I always do one eye different from the other as well, which is another problem as well when you're doing the eyeliner. You can never get two perfect ones. But anyway, as I say, they're not meant to be twins. <laughs> right, so I'm just going to start from in here. Actually, I like to start from about there because that's kind of where my eye kind of dips down a bit. So I'm just going to kind of start from here. You have to hold your breath as you're doing your eyeliner. It's one of those things that you just really want to take your time with. And then can I go from here? This is where it all goes horribly wrong <laughs> when you try and rush and you think, no, I shouldn't have added that extra layer on. <laughs> I had it right. <gasps> you always want a bit more, don't we, ladies? That's the problem. So. Start from the middle, then maybe kind of go from there and then just kind of work your way in. That's how I do my eyeliner. If you get any better tips then do let me know <laughs> all right next I'm going to take this is my urban decay naked 2 brush that come with the palette um, it's got this tapered part here and then a fanning out brush to smoothen the effect so I'm going to do a little bit of a cut crease so again I'm going back to the palette here I'm gonna use this color here it's almost like a burgundy -ish type color but a bit more natural so I may mix a bit of that with the brown so let's cut to it. <laughs> it's always best to work for your own eye shapes. Take the principles of these kind of makeup tutorials and then kind of adapt them to your own face shape. But it's always good to kind of try and do what the person is doing first and then once you've kind of got the gist of that then can kind of experiment to your own kind of look as you go along do what works for you <laughs> okay and then I'm gonna just apply a bit more and then with the other side of the brush I'm gonna fan that out circular motions soft circular motions and fan it up. Okay. It's quite quick to do. I'm obviously kind of going at pace so that I can show you guys. But yeah, once you've kind of done that and you're happy with the colour, you can apply again another line if you want. But um, I'm kind of happy with that. Just want to soften this part here a bit more. And now, I like about this look as well it's just natural and it just brightens up your face okay so that's that okay now it's time for some mascara okay so you want to just get in as deep as you can to the roots and lift as you go and you kind of got to make all kinds of faces when you're doing this. And then try and get right into the corners here. It makes a huge difference. Tell, it makes a huge difference when you do that. Then you look like you got loads of lashes, 
because I'm one of these people, I don't know why. Then I like to kind of take it from behind. Mm -hmm. Watch your dirty mind. <laughs> and then fan out. <laughs> and then just mix them out. Lashes look a bit thicker again as well. And I let that dry before I do the bottom lashes because, as I said, it ends up smudging and I don't want that. Okay, so let me just have a quick look here. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much that. I do like to use some eyeliner sometimes, but I'm just going to keep it quite natural today. Make sure your lips aren't like kind of wet and stuff, but a little bit moist so that your lip liner and stuff glides on. And then just do that. <laughs> And uh, just so you can get your cupid's bow properly. You can just walk your way down your natural lip line. And keep your mouth relaxed as well. <laughs> mm -hmm. Put your little pinky finger under here. It helps balance the pencil. And then I like to work my way in and make it a little bit thicker on the outside here. And then thin it as we get into the middle. And then just go off again. Okay, so that's the lip line. <laughs> and um both parts of my lips. Oh, things are falling. And put them together like that. Just mm, gently together. Give a little smile so that you can work in the pencil. And then just blend the pencil in. and get the individual lashes that I can. Just coat them again. You're not happy with them? And I think 
していました。<笑>